action. Action. Hello all and welcome back to another video from me, your favourite welder on the internet, Arquan Welding, also known, known as Calvin. I guess I don't really say my name too much in this. Yes, my name is Calvin. So in this week's video, or I should say this month's video because I am so behind schedule pumping out these videos, I reckon I'd, I'd try aim to get another one out by next week but it could be a month until there's a new video, which is why you should subscribe because that's the easiest way to keep track of when my posts come out but yes back to the video this week's video is a stool piece so what what is called a stool piece it's just a small piece of pipe flange pipe flange and it's, it's called a stool piece because you can sit on it like a stool so yeah there's so many different techniques of fabricating them and I'm showing you I'm, I'm running through one now this here is my speedy technique I was taught this method by my teacher, his name was Orville, some of you lot in the industry down in the UK will know who this guy is. He taught me so much, but like what I'm doing now, I'm teaching you lot or showing you lot certain things and it's down to you individually to take this knowledge, run with it and modify it so it suits your situation. So some of the steps that I'm doing aren't exactly the way he done it, but the foundations there so this allows you to fabricate stool pieces so much more faster than the equivalent the equivalent would be either putting the small piece of pipe in the vise and flange in both sides or putting a flange in the vise and sliding the pipe in it tacking it up and having only one one flange clamped in the vise and fabricating it that way which is you know it depends on the length of the pipe it's easier or harder but this way here, you can make so many of them, you can fly through them, you can make 30 a day, 40, even 40 a day to be honest. It, you could just bang through it. It took me two and a half minutes to tack this together. Welding's a different story, but yeah, that's, that's another story. But tacking it together, two and a half minutes, you can't go wrong with that. As for this piece of pipe that I'm making here, it's a temporary spool. I'm not too sure what it will be used for. More than likely a bellow replacement. Either the bellow's not been ordered or they want to save a specific gap for the bellow to do its job without damaging the bellow during the install. So in clarity, you're in the video now and you're in the video, yeah? So we're all, we're all in this together. So um, you just witnessed me tacking this up quickly. Now I'm going to explain step by step what I'm doing and why I'm doing some of these things. So this here is a temporary spool. Usually you would put this spool in place of a sensitive valve or a sensitive kind of strainer or anything like that. Or it could even be bridging two different um, sections of pipe together. No, I take that back because it's packed up. It's just a temporary piece for whatever temporary reason. Let me just get to that. So what I'm doing. The first thing I'm going to do is get the first flange and I'm using the two bolt holes to kind of square everything up. I find it a lot easier to line the level up to the bolt hole so I know I'm going at 90 degree angle so the level will be um, showing the right readings. I don't like doing diagonal, it means anything so I stick to 90 degrees. Two bolts right here is the spacers 15 mil and it's calculated for the face-to-face -face measurement so both sides have a 15 mil spacer now the pipe can go straight on top so what i am doing with the square is by if you um, look straight down it i'm trying to line up the pipe with the straight edge of the square it's just the same as putting it on the flange but there's more space when you go backwards so I'm using one eye now right now from what I can see it's perfectly level the pipe is coming out perfectly level and square to the table the flange is on the table so I can tack it it always whenever you tack the welds always shrink so I'm gonna tack on the side so it shrinks so I can push down the other side to make it level. 
Lovely. So in theory, in theory, this should be pretty level. So it's slightly to the line on the left. Jesus Christ. There we go. See now we can't trust this. This pipe is all over the place. Look at this, Mr. Cameraman. Tighten the line on the right. Tighten the line on the left. So I'm not going to trust it. And if you do split the difference, it, will, it should show the middle. But sometimes you've got to do and work with what you've got. Flip it. Again, you could, you could go by this. But I don't like doing that. I prefer to look straight down. Slightly, so the top needs to go over ever so slightly so I can try and hammer it down. Yep, that seems to work. Let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm trying to line up. Can you kind of see the square in the background? I'm trying to make sure it's perfectly straight. So now, the first part is done. If you've got multiple of these to do, you would go through systematically and make a whole bunch of the first step, get them out of the way, and then you can move on to the second step. So again, I'm squaring up the pipe. I'm getting the bolts for the spacer. Three of them is plenty enough. But this time round, I'm using a steel rule and I'm gonna line it up perfectly with the top of the bolt, so the top of the bolt hole. So if you see, in theory, the bolt holes are here and this is sitting perfectly on top of it and that gives me a reference. So when I do the next step, I can look through these bolt holes and line up these bolt holes to the steel rule and the bolt holes below. So that's what I'm going to do now. Trying to make this perfect. There we go. So you probably, you probably won't be able to see it because of the camera, but there's the two bolt holes. That's the steel rule going through the bolt holes. And then when I'm looking down it, I'm lining up the flange bolt holes on top to hit perfect, to hit perfectly um, through and line up to the bolt holes below. And the steel rule just gives you a guide so you can see it a lot easier. Next step. I'm gonna tack, wait a second so the tacks solidify, and then I'm gonna flip it over. If you flip it over too fast, the tacks are gonna be too hot, and the flange is gonna move all over the place. And now, line everything up. So this is why I have everything square on the table. So I know these two bolt holes is exactly the, the right angle that I want to be um, leveling the pipe off to. And it's looking pretty perfect if you ask me. Just slightly open up here. So one quick tip. I'm breaking my rule right now because I trust my um, levels but use the same level for everything. So if it's pissed, it's gonna be pissed the same way, in theory, hoping that it equals itself out and then your pipe isn't pissed. So. All right. If you check this out, come square in onto it. Slightly to the right, ever so slightly. And again, slightly to the right, ever so slightly. 
which is good. The bottom one there, so yeah. Guys. Again, because it's square, I know that these bolt holes are 90 degrees for the tacks. And just like that, you still recording? Sweet. It's sorted and um, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and check this with the bolt holes to see if it is actually good. The pressure is real. I hope I haven't just been saying a whole bunch of nonsense. Uh, both touching the line on the left which is good so the face that way is level that's pretty sweet if you ask me that is pretty sweet if you ask me. I wouldn't say perfect, but as close to perfect as you'd want to get. Flip it 90, check the face of it this way. Level in the middle, level in the middle, yes. Would you look at that? Great. So that is a quick tutorial breakdown of how to tack together some, the cameraman here, <laughs> how to tack together some stool pieces. Now you can weld it up or in this case here, they are going to stay like this as temporary spools. But yes, if you liked it, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.